Metadata and keywords are information that are embedded in your file when you photograph it, as well as editable information that you can add to your files that will be embedded as you apply them. When you have an image selected inside a browse on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see the metadata pane. This includes a lot of information, so we're going to talk about a couple of important features here that you'll want to pay attention to. I have a single image selected, and right up at the top you'll see that there's a couple categories here. The author, the description, and then keywords down at the bottom. Keywords are ones that are already applied, and then you can add your own keywords to specific images. Now, author is a great way to make sure that anyone who wants to use your image will see that it was photographed by you. Keywords are a great way for you to categorize your files. If you're working through things like stock agencies or you're selling your photos, keywords can also help other agencies search and find your images easily. So this can be a really useful tool on multiple levels. Now down below is the larger amount of metadata that's applied and there are two different categories. EXIF, which stands for Exchangeable Image File. This is the embedded information about the file and the camera that you shot your image on. So you'll notice that there's the file name and the dimensions, which are important, but down below you'll see exposure, you'll see ISO, you'll see the focal length that I shot this on. You'll also see the model and the lens of the camera, as well as the fact that I shot this on aperture priority. So there's a couple of really important details here. One of the ways that this can be extremely useful is actually by looking at other people's photographs. If you're curious about how someone shot an image, a lot of times metadata comes along with digital files. So you can look at this information on an image that you see, and you want to learn how to photograph. You can tell that I really like aperture priority. A large amount of my wedding images have that so that I can get a soft focus behind my clients, especially if I'm shooting very quickly and don't have time to switch to manual mode. Now, next to the EXIF is something called IPTC. This stands for the International Press Telecommunications Council, and it was originally for journalists and news photographers. It was a way for them to add information like their names, their job titles, where they live, and what their phone numbers are. So if someone liked their image and wanted to use it, they had contact information embedded in the physical file. Nowadays, we can go in and we can add this information ourselves, and it also helps prevent things like image theft. There's a lot of digital theft nowadays, and so by adding in contact information and embedding in your files before you post them online, you're going to save yourself a lot of headache so that you can prove later that this image was yours. Now, there are lots of different options here, and all you need to do is select a category to go in and type in information. So you'll notice I have creator I have state and postal code in here, and then I also have my website. But if I also wanted to type in my email address, I could go in and do that. I could also type in job title. So I'm the creator of this, but am I the editor, retoucher, or the photographer? I'm going to go ahead and type in photographer. If you're editing the metadata of a large amount of files, all you need to do is select them in your thumbnail view like this. Or if you're in the film strip view, you can select multiple images down at the bottom and you can edit a large amount of photos all at once. So let's go in and let's say that I want to add photographer to all of these images in the job title. I'll go ahead and do that. Up at the top, we're going to go back to this section here with keywording. Now, keywording is really useful when you want to categorize your files. So I have a ton of images here, and you'll notice that there's a couple that are bride and groom. If I scroll down, there's kind of some scenery images from where the wedding was. There's some decoration photos. There's ring photos. There's So there's a ton of stuff here, and each one has a different category that I want to apply to it. So I'm going to select a couple of images. I'm going to choose the ones that have the shoes and the rings. And I'm going to go ahead and type in, in the add keywords dialog, we'll call this decorations and we'll hit return. Now, if I look at another photo like this one of the scenery, decorations is not a keyword. So if I wanted to type in and find decoration photos, this image wouldn't come up, only the ones that I keyworded with it will. I could also go and select all of the images that have the bride and groom in them. 
So we'll go ahead and choose all of those and we'll add the keyword bride and groom. Now, if I'm looking for bridal photos and I only want ones that have the bride in it, I can type in that keyword and I can find all of the images that have that. So the metadata is just information that you can use to sort your images, to access them easier, and then also to make sure that other people don't end up stealing your photos because they'll have your embedded information in them. If you're interested in learning more about On One Photo Raw's browse module, don't forget to take a look at the other Getting Started videos all about this program.